as a friendly reminder, I do the best research I possibly can on these videos. I want to emphasize that it is never my intent to offend or upset anyone that may have been involved with these cases or videos. My aim is just to educate and spread awareness about these topics. All of the information I have gathered has been from several different sources online. I understand that all of my information may not be correct, so please feel free to correct me in the comments below. I in no way have intentions of spreading false information. Eighteen-year-old Denise Plum lived with her parents, Judy and David, and her younger sister, Jenny, in Connersville, Indiana. She had recently broken up with her boyfriend of three years, and she began socializing more with other people. On March 27, 1986, since it's the spring break, so maraming students yung walang pasok, and Denise went to a party, a bonfire party at a farm with hundreds of other teenagers. The following day, March 28, narealize ni Denise na nawawala yung kanyang purse, na naiwan niya yung kanyang purse doon sa location ng party the night before. So she decided to go back to the farm. She asked her sister and her friends kung pwede siyang samahan ng kahit isa sa kanila. But because lahat sila ay busy, she went on her own. Wala siyang dalang kahit na anong identification or anything. She also didn't carry a cleaning solution for her contact lenses. As we all know, kapag gumagamit ka ng contact lenses, you always need to bring your solution. According to her mother, Judy, I will read her statement. Quote, unquote, we're not sure why she didn't want to go alone. Because according to her mom, Denise was fearless ever since she was a child. So for her to be uncomfortable to go back to the site of the party alone is unnerving. Something wasn't right. The farmer of the property where the party occurred said Denise did not show up. A distant cousin of Denise was the one who returned her purse to her mom under an hour after Denise left her home. Isa sa mga kaibigan ni Denise yung nagsabi na nakita daw niya si Denise at a fashion bug store on 30th Street at around 2pm that day, March 28, 1986. Denise would be reported missing by her family later that evening. The following day, her car, a cream Buick Regal, was found locked and abandoned around three miles from the site of the party. Denise's car had been there since between 12.30 and 1.15 p.m. It was across the county from where Denise lived. And her family could not think any reason why Denise would be there. There was no indications of a struggle at the scene and yung mga farmers around doon sa area initially thought na yung car na yon belonged to mushroom hunters. Several law enforcement agencies would use canine and air searches, but no trace could be found. Denise was never seen again. Her family believes she never made it to her destination. So hindi nakarating si Denise 
doon sa farm para makuha yung kanyang purse. According to Judy, her mom, Denise planned to major in microbiology and she wanted to be a scientist. She was also an athlete who played volleyball, basketball, and softball. And her family described her as someone who had quote-unquote everything going for her. Denise's case went cold for years. However, in July 2020, more than three decades after the disappearance of Denise from her hometown, her ex-boyfriend, Sean McClung, was arrested and charged with voluntary manslaughter. Authorities said that during the initial investigation into Denise's disappearance, Sean has been questioned and claimed that Denise was still alive. That's according to Sean during the investigation way back in 1986. However, authorities announced in July this year that Sean recently admitted to killing her ex-girlfriend Denise Plum in March of 1986. Authorities also added that the investigation is ongoing and no further comments will be made at this time. Denise's body has never been found. If you have any additional information on Denise's case, please call the Fayette County Sheriff's Department at 765-825-1110 extension 604 or Indiana State Police at 765-778-2121. On November 11, 2009, Esther Lucille Westenbarger, a 51-year-old Ohio native, had recently moved to Kokomo, Indiana to be closer to her family. She went out for a night on the town with some new friends. Police said that she went bar hopping at a few establishments and had a few drinks. She parked her 2005 gold Cadillac CTS at the Hosier Bar on the north side of the town and she swung by Miller's Tavern about a quarter of a mile away. At 1.30 a.m., she left Miller's Tavern. Akala ng mga kaibigan ni Esther that she'll be heading to her car or the Hosier Bar. That was the last time anyone saw Esther. It's been only a month that Esther moved to Kokomo, Indiana before her disappearance. She was described as 5'7". 135 to 140 pounds. She has red auburn hair, medium long in length and straight. She has brown eyes and she also wears glasses. She has a tattoo of first calf army patch on her upper right arm. She also has a tattoo of airborne wings on her left ankle. She was last seen wearing blue jeans, a tan v-neck shirt, a leather jacket, a tan cowboy hat, and sandals. She was also wearing a heart-shaped necklace and rings. According to reports, before Esther went missing, she was planning a surprise birthday party for her mother, who was turning 73 on November 14 that year 2009 however when her family could not reach her ahead of the party they went to her house but no one was there so na realized nila na something was wrong and esther was eventually reported missing so police launched 
a search investigation and found that her car, her 2005 Cadillac CTS, was also missing. Her brother, William, even held a number of missing person events over the years. The family initially believed that Esther was killed. The people with whom Esther was hanging out the night before her disappearance was also questioned but to no avail. Walang kahit na sino ang makapagsabi kung saan pumunta si Esther that night nung umalis siya ng Miller's Tavern. For 11 years, there was no update on the case and it went cold. However, Noong June 2020, Howard County 911 Dispatch Center received a call regarding the possible discovery of a vehicle in a small retention pond in the area of Webster Street and 300 North. According to sa tao na tumawag sa mga police, they were fishing in the pond when they saw something sa ilalim ng pond and they believed it was a vehicle covered in algae. Shortly after nung tawag, the Kokombo Police Department officials along with the deputies from the Howard County Sheriff's Department arrived at the scene. The Howard County Sheriff dive team then recovered the vehicle from the water. The suspected vehicle was heavily covered in algae with a single occupant inside. The vehicle was a gold 2005 Cadillac CTS that has Ohio registration, Ms. Esther. An autopsy was performed and confirmed that it was Esther who was inside the car. She may have accidentally driven into the pond on the night of her disappearance. Foul play was not suspected in her death. Authorities believe that she has too much to drink that night and accidentally driven into the pond. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home, stay safe, and be a little kinder. God bless you all.